Hi pals, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm starting a new vlog and I do admit that I'm starting this as a kind of backdating start, if that makes sense, because I am now at the end of the week and I realised that I didn't actually film any kind of introduction to this vlog. So what you'll probably see next is like lots of random clips. I actually haven't looked back on them yet to see kind of if they make any kind of sense. Um, it's been a bit of a hectic week with starting a new job. I also had a dose of the vaccine and um, was reading a fair bit, but generally speaking, quite um, tired and I had quite a lot of stuff to like do, like errands and things. So I'm really not sure what this vlog is gonna look like, to be honest with you. But I thought that once I've shown you the clips I took this week, I will return as I am now and have a chat about um, how my reading's been this week and what I've been up to and just kind of sit down and have an atter. So grab yourself a cuppa and I hope you enjoy the clips that I've filmed so far and um, I will see you in a minute for um, a bit more of a proper catch up and chat. This is actually my first day in my new job. Um, so I'm quite nervous to be honest and kind of excited, equal nervousness and excitement and curious to see what everything's like when I get in there. Sorry if you can hear the kind of blinds closing behind me. Um, and curious to kind of see what everyone's like and just kind of get a foot under the desk and see. I'm looking forward as well to like being around more Icelandic than I am in my day to day life at the moment and just yeah looking forward to the new experience and everything like that. I will show you what I'm wearing because I've been debating this for ages and in the end I just decided to wear basically what I wore for the interview um, because they said it was smart casual and most of my wardrobe was very casual so I'm not sure that I've kind of toned this right um, but I kind of thought well I got the job but I went to interview dressed like this so <laughs> if I go in like this then I can kind of get a feel for what the people are wearing. I'm hoping it's going to be more on the casual side um, because I have quite a lot of casual clothes as I say but don't really want to buy new clothes if I can avoid it. Yes, let's do this, let me show you. But basically I'm just wearing a sort of baggy white shirt, polka dot shirt and some skinny black jeans um, and I'm going to pair it with a cardigan and um, boots because that's really the only shoes that I have that aren't trainers. So um, yeah, I'm glad it's kind of overcast day today so it doesn't look like I'm dressed horrendously for the weather or something. I can kind of play the weather card. But yeah, that's what I'm wearing, just quite simple. And I'll probably check in with you now after my first day and kind of let you know how it went. So I had my second day in my new job today, which was pretty exciting. And I also got a booster shot for the vaccine. So um, pretty big day and I'm worried I'm going to be a bit sick tomorrow. It's only my second day of my job so I don't really want to be sick but alas hopefully not and we can continue as we are. Um, the rain has just come on so goodness knows if this will be blurry as heck but yeah I'm walking through a very leafy residential area um, which reminds me a bit of like Edinburgh. It's not actually far from the city so my commute is like 30 minutes now where obviously before I was working at home so I just had a two minute commute from my bed to my desk. <laughs> um, so it's quite a big change but yeah it's quite a nice walk so it's all good and uh, yeah, I'll check with you in a bit. This vaccine has totally taken out of me today. I am absolutely zonked. I've got such bad arm pain and just like full on body like shivers and stuff. I went into work but I was just really not really not right all day so I'm really glad to be home and I've gone straight to bed. It's still daylight. I mean to be fair in summer and into autumn we do get quite long daylight hours still in Iceland. But I'm sat with my hot water bottle and uh, I'm gonna read for a bit I think. So I have been reading Elsewhere Home by Leila Abelela. Um, and I am really liking it. It's kind of strange because I really enjoy it, but then, um, like while I'm reading it, I really enjoy it, but then I'm not like, like I couldn't really tell you much about the stories now I finished them. I've been reading it throughout the week and although it's like really nice while you read it, yeah, it's kind of forgettable. Um, but it's all about like, like place and home and belonging and love and spirituality. It's really nice. Like each story that I read, I'm like, oh, I really like this story. Like such a good storyteller. 
but then they don't stick around in my mind, like I don't remember them. So I might read some of that, um, but I think I'm more in the mood to like really get like engrossed in a story. Um, I'm really not doing well with women in translation titles, but I guess August is just one month and we can read women in translation all year round and still celebrate them. And I'm just kind of mood reading, especially with starting a new job. I just feel like I don't want to push my reading in a certain direction um, if it's not feeling it because um, I'll only put myself in a reading slump. So I'm thinking that seeing as I'm not feeling well, it might be good to read something that's quite feel good. And I really like Helen Huang books. And she has a new one coming out called The Heart Principle, which I was fortunate enough to get a copy of via NetGalley. So I'm thinking I'll read that and um, chill for a bit, like probably the most of the evening. Um, I'll probably just be in bed because I want to be, like I don't want to be off sick. So I want to be in work again tomorrow. So need to rest this evening and allow myself to recover. It's, it's kind of good in a way because it shows that the vaccine is doing what it needs to do and um, but it just is is wiped me out. It's totally wiped me out. I barely slept last night and as I say I woke up and I've been having like full-on body shivers so um, I'm hoping that my hot water bottle will serve me well and I can just relax. It feels so nice to be in bed again. <laughs> so nice. Um, but yeah, that's really probably all I've got to check in on. And I'll let you know how I do with my reading as I go. So I'm just walking home again and thought I would check in on my reading. So, um, yeah, I've kind of got over the effects of the vaccine. It's the next day from when I last checked in and I've kind of got past the vaccine effects. But, um, yeah, I did read like 60% of The Heart Principle last night. Absolutely really really loving it so far and I also just started an audiobook um, of uh, Sally Rooney's new book Beautiful World Where Are You which I got via Liberal FM and it's okay like uh, the first chapter I was really digging I read that via NetGalley and I feel like Sally Rooney's writing just suits better to like a reading it physically rather than an audiobook I just don't feel like I'm getting as much out of the audiobook but that could just be me and how I am just now and that might change um, but yeah I, I, I'm thinking it's okay so far very early on, only like chapter 4 or 5 or something um, and I'm hoping to kind of get into a bit more I'm off to the library just now so I thought I might take you with me and show you my little library I'm going to pick up a book that I have on hold and it kind of expires today so I've got to get there before six, so that's where I'm off to now. And I'll take you with you with me and show you what that's like and everything like that. So let's go and do it. Okay, so you will have seen that I started my new job. It's all going really, really well. I'm really, really enjoying it. And I uh, really like my colleagues and like the environment. And um, I also have a bit more of a commute. So that's getting me like quite active a bit more. Obviously I was working from home before. So it was very like going from my bed to my uh, desk. And that was really all of my kind of exercise in a day. But this is getting me a bit more active, which is really, really good. And I feel better already for it. So that's really nice. I had to this weekend go and get myself some new clothing for work, kind of work appropriate attire I guess because it's like slightly more formal than my last job in Iceland I would say in general and um, workplaces here are more casual than the UK and um, people generally don't wear suits and things which is very common in um, professional environments in the UK and um, but that's less common here I would I don't even know anyone who works in an environment where they wear a suit or where others wear suits um, unless it's kind of like a more casual blazer with trousers look. It's less 
like a strict suit, if you know what I mean. Um, but I still had to get some more kind of formal stuff because my last job, as I say, was very like, people would wear like tracksuit bottoms. It was that casual. <laughs> so um, I, didn't, I didn't wear that myself. I would wear, more wear like jeans and t-shirts and trainers and things, but I just wanted to get a few wee bits. So I did that this weekend and I'm really, really pleased with what I got. Like I wasn't sure I would be able to find the kind of things I was thinking of. Um, but actually I got more than what I expected to get so I've got probably about um, six or seven days worth of outfits and the good thing about what I bought I wish I could show you some of it but it's all kind of I put it all through the wash so it's all still um, going through the wash but um, I got like a lot of stuff that you can like layer different ways and stuff like that I might show you my outfits in my vlog next week and just kind of show you some of the clothes and how I pair them together and um, but I'm hoping I can layer and um, like try different things with different thingies. I went for quite kind of um, blacks and greys and blues and I think I got one that's kind of like a pinky, like a, not a dusky pink, like more of like a pinky purpley grey colour. Hard to describe, I don't know what the actual colour is called. But um, yeah, I've got lots of different things that I can match together. I went for green as well, which is a colour I don't have in my wardrobe just now, but I do really suit green. Um, and so, yeah, I went for lots of nice colours, but mostly like muted tones and like stuff that you can mix and match together. And um, generally speaking, the idea is I wear it with like jeans um, or yeah, like professional looking jeans and um, no rips and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, so yeah, really quite a successful first week, but I did have to kind of do a lot of um, errands, as I said, like just kind of going to the library, going to get some, pick up some food. It felt like my days became a lot longer than what would they would like typically be. So I'm curious to see what it's like next week when I have a more typical week and um, when things are a bit more smoothly. But I, I feel like a lot better in myself in this job and I, I don't really know how to describe it but I feel like more confident and more comfortable and more me um, which is really nice because I guess a lot of people might have experienced this with um, social distancing and things but not having any real contact with people it does have an impact on you and I think that sometimes you might not realise what the impact is until you go and interact with other people and then you're like oh actually I did miss this um and there are certain things that like yeah are just like it's just it's just so much better it feels so much better um but yeah obviously we're still being safe and um wearing masks and doing all the usual precautions and stuff like that and following all the, the rules and everything but it's just nice to meet new people and people who actually live here because i was working remotely for a company so um all my colleagues were in the UK so it's, it's a different thing altogether and I, I really like it I'm really happy in this new job so I'm just delighted um I have read a little bit you'll see my wee clips that I did read a bit I am making good progress on Elsewhere Home but I still feel the same like the stories are quite forgettable and um that's a shame I think I was going to treat myself to Leila Abalela's other book um which is more about like a road trip and it's like a full novel and I think I will do that at some point, but just now, based on, well, I don't even think it's based on my experience reading these stories, but there were just other books um, that I think I'd probably buy before I buy that. But it's still on my sort of radar of books I would like to buy, because I, I do really like Leila Abalela's writing. It's just something about these stories that I'm just not remembering them. Like, even in the moment, I'm really enjoying it. And then I just it just totally goes out of my head. So yeah, it's a little bit I wouldn't say disappointing because I am enjoying it while I read it, but I was kind of expecting it to be a favourite, which is why I suppose disappointing is coming into my head as like a descriptive word. Um I also finished The Heart Principle by Helen Huang and um that wasn't fully what I expected. Um so it's about Anna and Anna um is just kind of, she's just gone into counselling at the start of the book and she's working with her counsellor and she has this really unkind boyfriend um, really just not a nice guy really but the counsellor sort of sort of puts to Anna you know the possibility that maybe she's autistic and um, so she's kind of 
discovering that about herself um, and kind of learning like herself I guess and that's a little bit different than Helen Huang's other books where the autistic protagonists are like they've known they're autistic for a long time so I quite like that this was a bit of a different um it was a bit different in that sense I guess um but it was a lot of a like sadder book like it was where Helen Huang books are often like quite um, light and fluffy and uplifting this one is really quite sad and I would say to go in with caution if like um, you have like family illness that you deal with or um, like you're a carer or um, if you're autistic yourself I would say go in with caution because autistic burnout is a big kind of theme of the book and um, family illness and caring for a family member and um, yeah there's probably worth checking out content warnings for those kind of things it's just it's a little bit sadder and I felt like because the the kind of these storylines are sadder um, it meant that the kind of sexier elements of the book were like I couldn't get into that frame of mind when all this sadness and all this kind of heartache was going on I just felt like I couldn't I could just I wasn't invested in the sort of sexier side it was more of like a deep novel for me um and yeah it was too I felt too sad to connect with that experience that they were like having and I just was like how can you how can you get in that mood right now like I, I don't know how you get in that mood um but yeah so I did like it though and uh it's not my favorite Helen Wang I think my favorite still Kiss Caution um I really really loved that book um, but I did like it. I would I just sort of caution that it's not like a kind of f sort of feel good contemporary, I guess, which is often what I kind of get from Helen Huang's other books. Um, so if you're like that too, you might um, want to look at this differently, this title. I loved as well though, Helen Huang puts a afterword where she talks about the book being actually somewhat based on her own experience over the, couple, the last couple of years. Um, and that like added another dimension of like emotion to the book for me like to understand that that was something that she'd been experiencing very recently I felt like that was really just really quite sad to know that she'd been going through that but also ultimately good that um, she had kind of come through the other side of that difficult period um, and kind of like I don't really know uh, I don't want to put words into her mouth um, but yeah, to know that she'd kind of come back to writing, because I think she'd kind of experienced a bit of a difficulty in kind of getting into creative writing again, um, following some experiences she'd had. Um, and so I guess it's nice to know that she's managed to reconnect with her writing again. And obviously, as a fan of her writing, it's it's good for for readers um, to just be able to enjoy her writing again. But yeah, um, what else was I reading? I was reading um, Sally Rooney's newest book beautiful world where are you and i was fortunate enough to get this through the libro fm influencer scheme um which is open to anyone who has like a blog or instagram or any kind of platform um where they talk about books you can get access to that quite easily and um you don't really i don't think that you have to provide reviews like netgalley i think it's more just they accept that you've got these platforms and you will talk about Libro FM. Um, so I will stick a link, I think there's a link that I can link you to if you want to sign up for Libro FM. I'm not sure if you get some kind of discount or something. I'm obviously not a very good influencer. Um, but yeah, I will link that down below if I can find it. Um, but I have to say I was not the best impressed with this Sally Rooney audiobook because I think for me, I've loved like normal people and conversations with friends. My favourite was actually conversations with friends, which I know a lot of people feel that normal people is their favourite. And um, for me, it was conversations with friends, and um, I loved them. I really, really enjoyed them. And I think that for me, there's something about Sally Rooney's writing which makes you turn pages, like you're just whizzing through books, and that's one of the things I really, really love about her writing. And with an audiobook you kind of go on at the pace of the audiobook and um, maybe I should have sped it up or something but it was really slow paced and I was like I felt bored which sounds awful 
um, especially given this is one of my most anticipated releases of the year um, and I have been kind of hunting everywhere for access to early access to this um, without having it sent over I didn't want it sent over but um, yeah so I was really disappointed to be bored by this book and um, I think what I need to do is return to it in physical format so I think my library will get it in I assume they will because it's a big title um, so I'm going to return to it in a library book form when that happens but for now I have DNF'd the Sally Rooney book which I don't think is going to make me very popular um, I got to about 20% mark and yeah I just was bored as I say so I just thought it's not worth continuing and um, I'll move on to something else. So I don't really know what I will be reading now. I've obviously still got Elsewhere Home, I'm about halfway through, but tonight I'm joining um, Lily from Literary Lily's Reading Sprints for Pixarathon. So I thought it might be good to read my final book in my Pixarathon route, which needs to be a funny book. Um, and I don't really know exactly which one to choose for that. I think I might choose one of my sci-fi books. I have one that's about kind of space and a woman in space who is like dealing with like loads of cats and like adventure and stuff. And it sounded funny. I kind of bought it because I thought it sounded light and funny. So maybe it will be, and maybe I will get into that. That's probably all the updates from me. I will probably close off this vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a little bit unconventional and not really my usual style of vlog, um, but hopefully we'll be back to regular business next week. And I'm quite enjoying filming my, like doing these vlogs as like a kind of record of my reading and what I've been up to. And it's fun doing it through this like transition period, but um, obviously this week it was just a little bit a little bit too busy maybe and I kind of dropped the ball a little bit with my vlogging but next week should settle down and I'm looking forward to that and um yeah just excited for the week ahead another new week in my new job and I hope that you're all doing well and staying safe and um thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again in my next one